There's a huge interest in hemp in Indiana. And now that Senate Bill 516 has passed the state house, Indiana farmers can start getting ready. While getting this bill passed is a huge step forward for Hoosier hemp, Ron Turco from Purdue's Department of Agronomy says there are still many steps left to go. What really, really needs to happen in the very, very short term is where does this material go? Who's going to process it? What products can be formed? Ron and I joke that hemp is the gateway drug to agriculture. Jana Beckerman is a plant pathologist who has helped get Purdue's hemp production program off the ground. This is hemp after, this is the fiber after it's been redded, least processed form of it. She says the durable hemp fibers have a lot of product potential. Try and pull and see if you can break those fibers. Not only is it really good for like my shirt here, but it's also uh, very good for a lot of uh, potentially high value items. It's used in bioplastics for uh, the automotive industry. Turco says people want to know more about how they can get involved with hemp. I've had you know close to a hundred emails about hemp. The state chemist office I know has dealt with five or thousand emails about hemp. Now, according to Purdue's website, the earlier you plant hemp in the state of Indiana, the better it will be when you harvest. Now, Turco says they have not yet planted hemp here at this field at the Meigs Horticulture Center because it's just too wet. But the goal for hemp's future? We want to make hemp as boring as corn and soybeans in terms of production. You're going to plant it, you're going to grow it, you're going to harvest it, you're going to, you're going to be able to make a product out of it.